Well, look, dude, we got to have a talk here, all right? I have seen the future, and I know for a fact you are the worst possible person I should be going up against. So, being on your side might actually be for the best. I have no clue what you're talking about, though. Seriously, I, I really don't. I'm sorry, dude. Like, I, I, if I made you that promise, I, I probably meant it at the time, but my mind does not have those memories. Uh, so, what exactly was the vow? Ah, uh, I see. I bring you back whatever they hold, and you will uh, help me get into the temple. Got it. Uh, Temple of Ancients. I still don't remember anything, though. You should probably start with the last time I was here. I arrived with Malik, yeah. Three of your galactic standard years ago, my scouts saw your ship plummet to the earth, and they went to go loot the crash site. They tried to take you prisoner, but you unleashed your magic, what you call the force upon them. Seeing your power, they bowed before you and brought you here to me. You used your power to rip the Rakata language from my mind, even as you drove basic into our skulls, so we could help you in your quest to find something called the Star Forge. But the answers you sought lay within the Temple of the Ancients, and we could not help you into the Temple. The Elders alone hold its secrets, guarding them with their very lives. Uh, tell me more about the Elders, actually. The Elders guard the ancient secrets within the compound is the knowledge of the power of and magic, including the knowledge of how to enter the temple itself. I have lost many warriors storming the gates of their compound, but they use weapons of light and fire against us, and not even our war beasts are strong enough to break their defenses. Sometimes we can capture an elder when they venture forth from the compound, and we have learned something about them. That is how we know they guard the ancient secrets. But no matter how, no matter what tortures we inflict upon them, they will not reveal their secrets to us. Ah, lovely. Uh, can you, uh, can you help me with this whole crash ship thing? Uh, I don't see too many other choices here. If I kill the elders, how exactly do you want me to bring? How can ex how can exactly can I bring you their secrets? There was one prisoner, an elder, whose mind broke beneath our tortures. He raved of an of ancient rituals of lost power and forgotten secrets. Unfortunately, most of his dying screams made no sense. Oh, wonderful! I love it. Yet in his last hours, he spoke of a book, an ancient tome that he recorded the most powerful knowledge of the elders and detailed the rituals that could unleash the secrets. I am certain this ancient tome will allow me to unleash what has for so long been hidden by the elders. Bring me this book and I will use the patent knowledge within to help you enter the temple. I'll be back with the book then. Hey everybody, welcome back to more Knights of the Old Republic. So, uh, last episode was sort of a clusterfuck, but I kind of turned it into sort of an experiment as I kind of wanted to learn more about this particular planet. And boy, it did not go how I was expecting it to go. <coughs> Shit. 
So let me explain a little bit of what happened. After that episode, I did some research, uh, primarily just looking up some stuff on different websites and in the actual strategy book. And apparently, you're supposed to side with this team first. Yeah, I mean, you can side with the elders, but it seems like a dead end because I can't find. I mean, you probably could kill them. I you could probably kill these guys, I guess, but I don't know, man. It seems like a pretty dead end idea, frankly. And it just seems like it's just more reasons to get you killed. Um, and there's not a lot of reason to not do it because you're getting the items no matter what, right? So it's not even a matter of like you're going to get something special for siding with one over the other. And uh, according to them, they already killed the guy who was already here, right? And here's the thing, and this is the crazy thing about this entire thing, right? If you come here first, the elders will still talk to you. They will not turn you away, as we learned the last time we did this, right? But, if you go talk to the elders first, these guys will flat out try to kill you on sight. You have instantly lost any opportunity for diplomacy with these individuals, and they will just say, screw you, and try to kill you. Not exactly the greatest situation to be in, but given their situation, I'm not going to hold too much against them. And that, and that's kind of like my biggest issue with this game, right? Up until now, the game has never presented a one-sided choice in so much, right? Like, we've had choices throughout the game, but nine times out of ten, the choices were always pretty equal, right? Like... Help this person or help this person. Either way, status quo is mostly the same, right? Like, there's no real, there's no real situation that lend that lends itself to being a, a, an end state for the player, right? And it's not exactly like I'm at a weak level or I'm not capable of getting through the game. I haven't done anything out the ordinary. In fact, I've probably been playing a more straight playthrough than I probably should be, all things considered, considering the fact I don't do everybody's loyalty missions. But yeah, uh, we're doing this one. I I looked it up, and surprisingly enough, notice here, these guys are now officially on my side. They're not going to kill me. Now, neither will their Rancor. Their Rancor will leave me the fuck alone, which is fantastic. Um, which is great for me, frankly. But yeah, like, I, I don't have this issue very often where I have to, like, look something up. Because I know this game pretty well, right? Like, I know most of the events of the game, so I know roughly what I'm doing. So it's very new to me if I have to, like, genuinely look something up and figure out, okay, what did I do wrong? Because I legitimately never would have imagined getting that far into that place and then realizing they have a literal army of Rancor ready to tear me in half. Like, who the fuck prepares for that shit? No one does. I wasn't ready for that. And, look, is is that beatable? Probably. I guess. I, I assume. I don't think it's an instant lose state. I don't think. Because this game hasn't, like I said, this game hasn't introduced a situation that would result in what I would call an instant loss, right? Like an instant game over state. It had... I haven't seen it. So, of course, it's possible. I just... I don't know, guys. If that's the case, then I think they did a really poor job. I genuinely don't believe this game has that sort of an instant... Like, that instant failure state. You know what I mean? I don't think this game has it. And if it does... Oh, Jolie. Seriously. Let's go. Jesus. And if it does, I still haven't seen it. Because, I mean, I mean, aside from, like, point, poignant decisions that would obviously land you a game over, decisions like this in gameplay that don't immediately seem like a bad idea haven't really popped up much. So that's why I'm really surprised that there was a decision, that there was a decision that would lead to an encounter that would seem pointless. That would seem like an instant failure, I guess. That's my big issue.
My other big issue is I have to kill these guys. And uh, we've been through this before. We know how this is going to go, right? Oh, sh oh, heal me. Oh, God. Keep healing me. Do not stop. Oh, thank God. Okay. Ugh. It's scary every time I have to fight these fucking things, man. No, whatever. Whatever. I don't care. So... I debated if I was actually going to show you guys this aspect of it because I was like, ah, they've already seen this in the last episode. But then I remembered that episode was like an hour long. So, you know, that was that was cool. So you guys know I've already talked. I've already came here. I just didn't go in. Surprisingly enough, the trigger for the one to no longer like want to talk to you is once you enter the building. We only walked up to this and opened the, uh, the, the gateway. So we can actually go in. And then we're going to have to uh, kill some dudes. But, I mean, these guys aren't, like, combatant, right? Like, as far as I can remember, they're not, like, actual fucking combatants. Like, they're a bunch of um, scholars and shit. They're not, like, people I'm going to have to genuinely be worried about, right? That's kind of how I've taken this entire thing. It'll be interesting to see how this goes, though. I shouldn't have too much trouble. I didn't see... I haven't seen any massive robots. The entrant one wants the secrets you protect. Uh, this is why the secrets of our ancestors have been locked away in the temple. We would give our lives to see that they don't fall into the hands of the one or any like him. You should know from what we last explained to you. Look, just give me what he wants, or I kill every single one of you. It's your choice. He promised to get me inside of the temple, dude. If you just give it to me, we don't have to go through this. Yeah, well, don't say I didn't try to warn you, assholes. Just to understand that. Oh, they got like shields or some shit. What is this shit they have on them? They have some like hardcore shields. Okay. Yeah, they have shields, but those shields only last for so long. So eventually that shit's gonna wear off. Alright, well, just wait it out. Those shields are gonna run out. We're gonna we're gonna damage you through your shields eventually. Your shields can't hold up forever, dude. Like, I appreciate the... Where, where are you going, dickhead? Damn. Don't get me wrong, I appreciate the fact that they were nice enough to, uh... Not be too much of a hassle. But we know for a fact these guys don't have Rancor, right? Although they probably have giant robots. I imagine they're gonna have, like, mechs or some bullshit. I'm actually more interested about the ones that had shields, because, like, the guys that c protect the one didn't have shields. We tore through them like tissue paper. Those guys were actually reasonably formidable, if it wasn't for the fact that, like, once their shield ran out. Come on. Whap! Thank you. Yeah, yeah, we gotta unlock the cages. Cage key. Well, I guess I should, like, free them, right? 
I don't really want to free him, but I guess I probably should. I work for the one. Yeah, it's no biggie, don't worry. It's fine. Cool, they're freed. Happy? Oh, wow, they. Wow, I really am a dick. Oh, God, I am an asshole. They're not even armed. Oh, Jesus. Well. I mean, I'm already in for, like, a dark side playthrough. Why are there gongs everywhere? Is this gonna be another one of those fucking dumb shits I gotta go through again? They don't have... They don't have... Okay, elder droids. Okay, we saw this coming, though. We knew there would be droids. That's really surprising that those droids were so weak. I genuinely did not think they'd be that weak. I'm legitimately surprised. I'm also kind of horrified that they were so weak. Because if going to try to fight the one was any indication, when the enemies are weak at the gate, they're usually going to be strongest once you get to the treasure. And I'd like to actually get this game done, to be fair with you guys. This has gone on far long enough. It's time we get it wrapped up. Look, fellas, I don't really want to kill a bunch of people. Can we just not? Like, can we just talk this out? Have, like, play a game of rummy or some shit? Yeah, Force Lightning is really fucking good. Like, legit. All right, this is probably it. It's probably, hopefully there's no fucking Roncor in here or some dumb shits. Oh. Uh, actually, now that you think, I think about it, doesn't this guy seem a little familiar? These people don't, these people, um, they look really, oh shit. These are the guys from the, um, the place of Manon, right? Like, when we got the star map there, the, the hologram was one of these guys. That's a little interesting. Did they build that? But, like, did Revan go there first? Because, technically, this isn't, this, technically, to get here, you would have had to follow the star map, right? Like, the star map led us, generally, in this direction, then we crash landed. I'm assuming that's what happened to him, right? Like, Yeah, he's right. Uh, what's the Star Forge? Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, I'm looking for the secrets of the ancient Rakata. Alright, how can I get into the temple? This chant will only work if spoken by the Rakata. No other species can create the proper intonation that will trigger the shield deactivation. Okay, so somebody, a Rakata, would have to be the one to say it, right? So it would have to be a Rakata that, a Rakata that actually, Rakatan, that said it. Uh. Well, we got the information we needed, right? And we can't go into the temple without the, uh, the one and his people to help us. Like, that's physically impossible. And they downloaded it to our data pad, so we should just be able to go back. 
But, okay. Uh, excuse me for asking this, but this was seriously too easy. So, why would you make one so absurdly difficult if this is a fucking cakewalk? I'm sorry, I'm a little upset about that. Like, guys, you watch it. I'm assuming if you're watching this, you watched the last episode. Like, you know how easy, you know how difficult it was. Like, how stupid that last fight with the one was. I mean, I get it. These guys aren't warriors. But that doesn't excuse the fucking stupid difficulty curve. Like, like, why would you do that? I love this game to death. But why would you make a difficulty curve this unyield this unyieldy? I guess that's the thing, right? Like, okay, fine. If you if you're not going for an instant fail state, which I assume was the goal, right? Like like for a game that purports having your own character, it kind of railroads you into picking a particular option. Because I looked it up. I wasn't dumb. I was like, okay, so what is the game expecting from me? And every book, every guide generally does not recommend. Well, I got what I wanted. Uh, I should be fine, right? Like, So I guess we gotta walk our asses back, right? And probably fight more of these damn... I, th I probably left items in there, but you know what? I'll have plenty of time in between episodes to go back and, like, look through there. But we gotta go back and talk to the other guy real quick. Along with fight more of these fucking... I hate these guys so much. Why? Why do I have to keep fighting these guys? Fucking dumb as shit. I don't care if they're young. Nice! Finish him! Thank you. Preferably before I instantly fucking die. Like, I'm still, I'm like really upset, guys. You don't understand. I'm genuinely upset with this game. And not even for like petty reasons. Like, I wish I could just say, oh, I'm just being fucking petty. It's not being petty. It's a matter of the game has never done that to you and put you in a situation that seems unbeatable. Right? Ever. It has never done that. If a situation seems unbeatable, it's probably because you're going about it the wrong way, or you don't have the right armor equipped, or you're not thinking outside the box to win. You know what I mean? Bendak Starkiller isn't an unbeatable fight. Ugh, fucking... Why? Why? Why are they there? Why there? I can't... Mother... Urgh. Damn it. Fucking Rancor. And he saved. Alright. Preferably before I die. Thank you. I don't mind tanking for you guys, but you guys really need to keep me alive if you want me to keep playing this game where I tank. I am not... I am not the proper class to be a... T I, uh, fuck that. I'm actually a guardian, aren't I? Am I a guardian? I am a guardian, right? I'm a guardian. I picked Jedi. I'm a guardian. Yeah. Fuck it. I'm a tank. I'm, I'm playing my role correctly. I'm, I've played D&D &D enough. I know what my role is. I'm... I take the hit so others don't have to. Are they going to make me walk all the way back to him? Because he's really deep into that place. I don't know if I want to walk through that entire facility. That, and I technically never did loot that facility. So, I got to go and tell them 
and they're gonna have to open the temple because I can't actually physically open it. Uh, there's no way to do it. I don't think. But I have the information, right? And it's there. So it had to be it had to be one of them that did it. I do have questions though, like why are you guys on Manon? Why why was that even there? Like like, did they come here first? Is that what happened? Because that has to be it. They must have came here earlier. Because, like, why else? Why else would it even be there? There'd be no reason. It wouldn't make any feasible sense to imagine that they just, you know, did all that for no reason. I don't think so, at least. I can't imagine building such a facility... I mean, it wasn't a big facility, but it was still, it wasn't accessible. It's not like a normal person could get down there to access it on Manon. Like, you had to go through quite a few hoops to get to it. Wait, no, it wasn't Manon, it was Kashik. I'm sorry, Ka Kashik was the one where they had the facility that had one of these guys. Yeah, well, all right, that might have been a bit more accessible. That, that one I could actually see someone getting. I'm sorry, I got Manon mixed up. Manon was underwater. That one was not accessible. There's no, I don't know why I thought that. My bad. I'm sorry, guys. I th Thankfully, I caught on. All right. You didn't need your fucking Rancor. Oh, so I didn't actually find the book. All right, well, I'm going to cut and go back. I'll be right back. Well, that's the town. All right, back to the other group. Yeah, 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 I got your damn book here. Sweetness. I can finally get out this damn planet. That was the only one I found, dude. So now you know how to get into the temple, right? So will you help me enter the temple? I did help you get the book. Nice. Why not to go in alone? Fine, I'll do it as much as I hate it. Let's go. God, I gotta walk all the way back again? Son of a bitch! 
All right, fuck it. I'll be right back. I gotta cut again. Gotta walk all. Gotta walk my ass all the way back. Christ, man. You better be. You better be sure you know what you're doing the first time, man. Cause there's a lot of travel time in this game, especially for this place. Jesus, this is. This is painful. This is this is really bad. Not a fan. Travel time, my dudes. Travel time. Good lord. You know, quick travel would be fucking fantastic. But once you're inside of a building, you can't quick travel. This doesn't help the fact that this place is literally a maze. Or just really big and labyrinthine. Ugh. Okay. Auto level. Auto level. There we go. Because I'm not leveling you guys, that's for sure. You can handle leveling yourselves. Oh, damn it. Alright, come on. I gotta drop you guys off. I can't go in here... Actually, can I just do this in here? Is that possible? Party. Oh, okay, cool. I can do it in here. So. Happy I'm by myself. I got rid of my team. Jesus. Wait, we can't go in there alone. I have to go in there alone. It's their tradition. We have had a, a premonition. The force has given us a vision. There is great danger lurking in the temple. We cannot let you face it alone. He might be walking into a trap. Maybe Malik himself is waiting inside. Even if he isn't, that temple will be crawling with dark Jedi. You need all the help you can get. You can't. They won't allow it. Maybe the fate of the entire galaxy could be forever changed inside that temple. I'm not about to let you face that alone. Not after my premonition. There's a reason I had that vision. Jolly speaks for both of us. We must enter the temple, but we must go with him. So you just tell that guide of yours to do whatever he has to do to get us all inside the temple. Continue ritual. I don't know what he said, but it sounds like your guide's being stubborn. We don't have time for this. The Republic fleet is on the way, and we're stuck on this planet until we deactivate that disruptor field. You have to convince him to get us inside that temple. Look, these rituals are those of the elders. They mean nothing to you. Oh. Why do I get the feeling this is going to take a while? Still, you better stay. I'm actually quite surprised that worked. Malak, the preparations are nearly complete. Every day the staff board adds more shifts to our fleet, who's operating at nearly 300% of our projections. The fleet is assembling around the Star Forge and awaits your instructions. Patience. Oh fuck! My new apprentice is nearly ready. He wants Bastila joins her battle meditation to our enormous. Oh that's Oh that's grotesque. That is action. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> oh! Oh, Jesus Christ! As you wish, Lord Malik. No wonder he wears that mouth guard. He's missing half of his fucking jaw. Christ! That's weird. <laughs> 